Cameroon, Wikipedia article audio. Coordinates, 6 degrees north 12 degrees east. Slash, 6 degrees north 12 degrees east. Slash 6, 12. Cameroon, officially the Republic of Cameroon, is a country in Central Africa. It is bordered by Nigeria to the west, Chad to the northeast, the Central African Republic to the east, and Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, and the Republic of the Congo to the south. Cameroon's coastline lies on the Bight of Biafra, part of the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean. History 19th Century French and English are the official languages of Cameroon. The country is often referred to as Africa in miniature for its geological and cultural diversity. Natural features include beaches, deserts, mountains, rainforests, and savannas. The highest point at almost 4,100 meters is Mount Cameroon in the southwest region of the country, and the largest cities in population terms are Douala on the Wuri River, its economic capital and main seaport, Yaoundé, its political capital, and Gerwa. The country is well known for its native styles of music, particularly Makasa and Bikutsi, and for its successful national football team. Early inhabitants of the territory included the Sao civilization around Lake Chad and the Baca hunter-gatherers in the southeastern rainforest. Portuguese explorers reached the coast in the 15th century and named the area Rio dos Camaros, which became Cameroon in English. Fulani soldiers founded the Adamawa Emirate in the north in the 19th century, and various ethnic groups of the west and northwest established powerful chiefdoms and fondoms. Cameroon became a German colony in 1884 known as Cameroon. After World War I, the territory was divided between France and the United Kingdom as League of Nations mandates. The Union des Populations du Cameroon political party advocated independence, but was outlawed by France in the 1950s, leading to the Cameroonian independence war fought between French and UPC militant forces until early 1971. In 1960, the French administered part of Cameroon became independent as the Republic of Cameroon under President Amadou Ahadjo. The southern part of British Cameroons federated with it in 1961 to form the Federal Republic of Cameroon. The federation was abandoned in 1972. The country was renamed the United Republic of Cameroon in 1972 and the Republic of Cameroon in 1984. Cameroon experiences relatively high political and social stability. This has permitted the development of agriculture, roads, railways, and large petroleum and timber industries. Large numbers of Cameroonians live as subsistence farmers, however. Since 1982 Paul Baia has been president, governing with his Cameroon People's Democratic Movement Party. The country has experienced tensions coming from the English-speaking territories. Politicians in the English-speaking regions have advocated for greater decentralization and even complete separation or independence from Cameroon. The territory of present-day Cameroon was first settled during the Neolithic era. The longest continuous inhabitants are groups such as the Baca. From here, Bantu migrations into eastern, southern, and Central Africa are believed to have originated about 2,000 years ago. The Sao culture arose around Lake Chad C. AD 500 and gave way to the Kanem and its successor state, the Bornu Empire. Kingdoms, fondoms, and chiefdoms arose in the West. 20th Century 
Portuguese sailors reached the coast in 1472. They noted an abundance of the ghost shrimp Lepidophthalmus turneranus in the Wuri River and named it Rio dos Camaros, which became Cameroon in English. Over the following few centuries, European interests regularized trade with the coastal peoples, and Christian missionaries pushed inland. In the early 19th century, Matabo Adama led Fulani soldiers on a jihad in the north against non-Muslim and partially Muslim peoples and established the Adamawa Emirate. Settled peoples who fled the Fulani caused a major redistribution of population. The northern part of Cameroon was an important part of the Arab slave trade network. Independence the Bumam tribe have a writing system, known as Bumam script or Shu Mam. The script was given to them by Sultan Ibrahim Enjoya in 1896, and is taught in Cameroon by the Bumam Scripts and Archives Project. Germany began to establish roots in Cameroon in 1868 when the Wohrmann Company of Hamburg built a warehouse. It was built on the estuary of the Wuri River. Later Gustav Nachtigal made a treaty with one of the local kings to annex the region for the German Emperor. The German Empire claimed the territory as the colony of Cameroon in 1884 and began a steady push inland. The Germans ran into resistance with the native people who did not want the Germans to establish themselves on this land. Under the influence of Germany commercial companies were left to regulate local administrations. These concessions used forced labor of the Africans to make a profit. The labor was used on banana, rubber, palm oil, and cocoa plantations. They initiated projects to improve the colony's infrastructure, relying on a harsh system of forced labor which was much criticized by the other colonial powers. With the defeat of Germany in World War I, Cameroon became a League of Nations mandate territory and was split into French Cameroons and British Cameroons in 1919. France integrated the economy of Cameroon with that of France and improved the infrastructure with capital investments and skilled workers, modifying the system of forced labor. The British administered their territory from neighboring Nigeria. Natives complained that this made them a neglected colony of a colony. Nigerian migrant workers flocked to southern Cameroons, ending forced labor altogether but angering the local natives, who felt swamped. The League of Nations mandates were converted into United Nations trusteeships in 1946 and the question of independence became a pressing issue in French Cameroon. 21st Century France outlawed the most radical political party, the Union des Populations du Cameroon, on July 13, 1955. This prompted a long guerrilla war and the assassination of the party's leader, Ruben Umnyobe. In the more peaceful British Cameroons, the question was whether to reunify with French Cameroon or join Nigeria. Politics and Government On January 1, 1960 French Cameroon gained independence from France under President Amadou Ahadjo. On October 1, 1961, the formerly British Southern Cameroons united with French Cameroon to form the Federal Republic of Cameroon. Ahajo used the ongoing war with the UPC to concentrate power in the presidency, continuing with this even after the suppression of the UPC in 1971. Political Culture His political party, the Cameroon National Union, became the sole legal political party on September 1, 1966 and in 1972, the federal system of government was abolished in favor of a United Republic of Cameroon, headed from Yaoundé. 
Ahajo pursued an economic policy of planned liberalism, prioritizing cash crops and petroleum development. The government used oil money to create a national cash reserve, pay farmers, and finance major development projects. However, many initiatives failed when Ahajo appointed unqualified allies to direct them. Ahajo stepped down on November 4, 1982 and left power to his constitutional successor, Paul Baia. However, Ahajo remained in control of the CNU and tried to run the country from behind the scenes until Baia and his allies pressured him into resigning. Baia began his administration by moving toward a more democratic government but a failed coup d'état nudged him toward the leadership style of his predecessor. Foreign Relations An economic crisis took effect in the mid-1980s to late 1990s as a result of international economic conditions, drought, falling petroleum prices, and years of corruption, mismanagement, and cronyism. Cameroon turned to foreign aid cut government spending, and privatized industries. With the reintroduction of multi-party politics in December 1990, the former British Southern Cameroon's pressure groups called for greater autonomy, and the Southern Cameroon's National Council advocated complete secession as the Republic of Ambazania. In June 2006, talks concerning a territorial dispute over the Bakasi Peninsula were resolved. The talks involved President Paul Baia of Cameroon, President Olusegun Obasanjo of Nigeria and UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, and resulted in Cameroonian control of the oil-rich peninsula. The northern portion of the territory was formally handed over to the Cameroonian government in August 2006 and the remainder of the peninsula was left to Cameroon two years later, in 2008. In February 2008, Cameroon experienced its worst violence in 15 years when a transport union strike in Douala escalated into violent protests in 31 municipal areas. In May 2014, in the wake of the Chibok schoolgirl kidnapping, Presidents Paul Baia of Cameroon and Idris Deby of Chad announced they are waging war on Boko Haram, and deployed troops to the Nigerian border. Since November 2016, Cameroon is suffering from a series of protests from the English-speaking regions of the country, which are the Northwest Region and Southwest Region. People were killed and hundreds jailed as a result of these protests. Administrative Divisions The President of Cameroon is elected and creates policy, administers government agencies, commands the armed forces, negotiates and ratifies treaties, and declares a state of emergency. The President appoints government officials at all levels, from the Prime Minister, to the provincial governors and divisional officers. The president is selected by popular vote every seven years. Education and Health The National Assembly makes legislation. The body consists of 180 members who are elected for five-year terms and meet three times per year. Laws are passed on a majority vote. Rarely has the assembly changed or blocked legislation proposed by the president. The 1996 Constitution establishes a second House of Parliament, the 100-seat Senate, was established in April 2013 and is headed by a President of the Senate who is the constitutional successor in case of untimely vacancy of the Presidency of the Republic. The government recognizes the authority of traditional chiefs, Fons and Lamibi to govern at the local level and to resolve disputes as long as such rulings do not conflict with national law. Cameroon's legal system is largely based on French civil law with common law influences. Although nominally independent, 
the judiciary falls under the authority of the executive's Ministry of Justice. The President appoints judges at all levels. The judiciary is officially divided into tribunals, the Court of Appeal, and the Supreme Court. The National Assembly elects the members of a nine-member High Court of Justice that judges high-ranking members of government in the event they are charged with high treason or harming national security. Cameroon is viewed as rife with corruption at all levels of government. In 1997, Cameroon established anti-corruption bureaus in 29 ministries, but only 25% became operational and in 2012, Transparency International placed Cameroon at number 144 on a list of 176 countries ranked from least to most corrupt. On January 18, 2006, BIA initiated an anti-corruption drive under the direction of the National Anti-Corruption Observatory. There are several high-corruption risk areas in Cameroon, for instance, customs, public health sector and public procurement. Geography Economy and infrastructure Military Demographics Human rights organizations accuse police and military forces of mistreating and even torturing criminal suspects, ethnic minorities, homosexuals, and political activists. Prisons are overcrowded with little access to adequate food and medical facilities, and prisons run by traditional rulers in the north are charged with holding political opponents at the behest of the government. However, since the first decade of the 21st century, an increasing number of police and gendarmes have been prosecuted for improper conduct. President Baez Cameroon People's Democratic Movement was the only legal political party until December 1990. Numerous regional political groups have since formed. The primary opposition is the Social Democratic Front, based largely in the Anglophone region of the country and headed by John Frundi. Baia and his party have maintained control of the presidency and the National Assembly in national elections, which rivals contend were unfair. Human rights organizations allege that the government suppresses the freedoms of opposition groups by preventing demonstrations, disrupting meetings, and arresting opposition leaders and journalists. In particular, English-speaking people are discriminated against. Protests often escalate into violent clashes and killings. In 2017, President Baia shut down the Internet in the English-speaking region for 94 days, at the cost of hampering 5 million people, including Silicon Mountain startups. Freedom House ranks Cameroon as not free in terms of political rights and civil liberties. The last parliamentary elections were held on September 30, 2013. Cameroon is a member of both the Commonwealth of Nations and La Francophonie. Its foreign policy closely follows that of its main ally, France. Cameroon relies heavily on France for its defence, although military spending is high in comparison to other sectors of government. President Baia has engaged in a decades-long clash with the government of Nigeria over possession of the oil-rich Bekasi Peninsula. Cameroon and Nigeria share a 1,000-mile border and have disputed the sovereignty of the Bekasi Peninsula. In 1994 Cameroon petitioned the International Court of Justice to resolve the dispute. The two countries attempted to establish a ceasefire in 1996, however, fighting continued for years. In 2002, the ICJ ruled that the Anglo-German Agreement of 1913 gave sovereignty to Cameroon. The ruling called for a withdrawal by both countries and denied the request by Cameroon for compensation due to Nigeria's long-term occupation. 
By 2004, Nigeria had failed to meet the deadline to hand over the peninsula. A unmediated summit in June 2006 facilitated an agreement for Nigeria to withdraw from the region and both leaders signed the Green Tree Agreement. The withdrawal and handover of control was completed by August 2006. The constitution divides Cameroon into ten semi-autonomous regions, each under the administration of an elected regional council. Each region is headed by a presidentially appointed governor. Refugees These leaders are charged with implementing the will of the president, reporting on the general mood and conditions of the regions, administering the civil service, keeping the peace, and overseeing the heads of the smaller administrative units. Governors have broad powers, they may order propaganda in their area and call in the army, gendarmes, and police. All local government officials are employees of the central government's Ministry of Territorial Administration, from which local governments also get most of their budgets. The regions are subdivided into 58 divisions. These are headed by presidentially appointed divisional officers. The divisions are further split into subdivisions, headed by assistant divisional officers. The districts, administered by district heads, are the smallest administrative units. The three northernmost regions are the Far North, North, and Adamawa. Directly south of them are the Center and East. The South Province lies on the Gulf of Guinea and the southern border. Cameroon's western region is split into four smaller regions, the littoral and southwest regions are on the coast, and the northwest and west regions are in the western grassfields. Languages Religion Culture In 2013, the total adult literacy rate of Cameroon was estimated to be 71.3%. Among youths age 15 to 24 the literacy rate was 85.4% for males and 76.4% for females. Most children have access to state-run schools that are cheaper than private and religious facilities. The educational system is a mixture of British and French precedents with most instruction in English or French. Cameroon has one of the highest school attendance rates in Africa. Girls attend school less regularly than boys do because of cultural attitudes, domestic duties, early marriage, pregnancy, and sexual harassment. Although attendance rates are higher in the South, a disproportionate number of teachers are stationed there, leaving northern schools chronically understaffed. In 2013, the primary school enrollment rate was 93.5%. School attendance in Cameroon is also affected by child labor. Indeed, the U.S. Department of Labor findings on the worst forms of child labor reported that 56% of children aged 5 to 14 were working children and that almost 53% of children aged 7 to 14 combined work and school. In December 2014, a list of goods produced by child labor or forced labor issued by the Bureau of International Labor Affairs mentioned Cameroon among the countries that resorted to child labor in the production of cocoa. The quality of health care is generally low. Life expectancy at birth is estimated to be 56 years in 2012, with 48 healthy life years expected. Fertility rate remain high in Cameroon with an average of 4.8 births per woman and an average mother's age of 19.7 years old at first birth. In Cameroon, there is only one doctor for every 5,000 people, according to the World Health Organization. In 2014, just 4.1% of total GDP expenditure was allocated to health care. 
Due to financial cuts in the health care system, there are few professionals. Doctors and nurses who were trained in Cameroon, emigrate because in Cameroon the payment is poor while the workload is high. Nurses are unemployed even though their help is needed. Some of them help out voluntarily so they will not lose their skills. Outside the major cities, facilities are often dirty and poorly equipped. In 2012, the top three deadly diseases were HIV AIDS, lower respiratory infection, and diarrheal diseases. Endemic diseases include dengue fever, filariasis, leishmaniasis, malaria, meningitis, schistosomiasis, and sleeping sickness. The HIV AIDS prevalence rate in 2016 was estimated at 3.8% for those aged 1549, although a strong stigma against the illness keeps the number of reported cases artificially low. 46,000 children under age 14 were estimated to be living with HIV in 2016. In Cameroon, 58% of those living with HIV know their status, and just 37% receive ARV treatment. In 2016, 29,000 deaths due to AIDS occurred in both adults and children. Media Breast ironing, a traditional practice that is prevalent in Cameroon, may affect girls' health. Female genital mutilation, while not widespread, is practiced among some populations, according to a 2013 UNICEF report, 1% of women in Cameroon have undergone FGM. Also impacting women and girls' health. The contraceptive prevalence rate is estimated to be just 34.4% in 2014. Traditional healers remain a popular alternative to evidence-based medicine. At 475,442 square kilometers, Cameroon is the world's 53rd largest country. It is slightly larger than the nation of Sweden and the state of California. Cameroon is comparable in size to Papua New Guinea. The country is located in Central and West Africa, known as the Hinge of Africa, on the Bight of Bonny, part of the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean. Cameroon lies between latitudes 1 degree and 13 degrees north, and longitudes 8 degrees and 17 degrees east. Cameroon controls 12 nautical miles of the Atlantic Ocean. Tourist literature describes Cameroon as Africa in miniature because it exhibits all major climates and vegetation of the continent, coast, desert, mountains, rainforest, and savanna. The country's neighbors are Nigeria and the Atlantic Ocean to the west, Chad to the northeast, the Central African Republic to the east and Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, and the Republic of the Congo to the south. Cameroon is divided into five major geographic zones distinguished by dominant physical, climatic, and vegetative features. The coastal plain extends 15 to 150 kilometers inland from the Gulf of Guinea and has an average elevation of 90 meters. Exceedingly hot and humid with a short dry season, this belt is densely forested and includes some of the wettest places on Earth, part of the Cross Sanagabioko coastal forests. The South Cameroon Plateau rises from the coastal plain to an average elevation of 650 meters. Equatorial rainforest dominates this region, although its alternation between wet and dry seasons makes it is less humid than the coast. This area is part of the Atlantic Equatorial Coastal Forests e Corjun. An irregular chain of mountains, hills, and plateaus known as the Cameroon Range extends from Mount Cameroon on the coast Cameroon's highest point at 4,095 meters almost to Lake Chad at Cameroon's northern border at 13 degrees 05 N. 
This region has a mild climate, particularly on the western high plateau, although rainfall is high. Its soils are among Cameroon's most fertile, especially around volcanic Mount Cameroon. Volcanism here has created crater lakes. On August 21, 1986, one of these, Lake Nios, belched carbon dioxide and killed between 1,700 and 2,000 people. This area has been delineated by the World Wildlife Fund as the Cameroonian Highlands Forests e Corjun. The southern plateau rises northward to the grassy, rugged Adamawa Plateau. This feature stretches from the western mountain area and forms a barrier between the country's north and south. Its average elevation is 1,100 meters, and its average temperature ranges from 22 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius with high rainfall between April and October peaking in July and August. The northern lowland region extends from the edge of the Adamawa to Lake Chad with an average elevation of 300 to 350 meters. Its characteristic vegetation is savanna scrub and grass. This is an arid region with sparse rainfall and high median temperatures. Cameroon has four patterns of drainage. In the south, the principal rivers are the Entam, Nyong, Sanaga, and Wuri. These flow southwestward or westward directly into the Gulf of Guinea. The Ja and Kade drain southeastward into the Congo River. In northern Cameroon, the Benau River runs north and west and empties into the Niger. The Lagan flows northward into Lake Chad, which Cameroon shares with three neighboring countries. Cameroon's per capita GDP was estimated as $2,300 US dollar in 2008, one of the ten highest in sub-Saharan Africa. Major export markets include France, Italy, South Korea, Spain, and the United Kingdom. Cameroon is aiming to become an emerging country by 2035. Cameroon has had a decade of strong economic performance, with GDP growing at an average of 4% per year. During the 2004-2008 period, Public debt was reduced from over 60% of GDP to 10% and official reserves quadrupled to over 3 billion US dollars. Cameroon is part of the Bank of Central African States, the Customs and Economic Union of Central Africa and the Organization for the Harmonization of Business Law in Africa. Its currency is the CFA franc. Music and Dance cuisine. Unemployment was estimated at 4.4% in 2014, and about a third of the population was living below the international poverty threshold of 1 US dollar and 25 cents a day in 2009. Since the late 1980s, Cameroon has been following programs advocated by the World Bank and International Monetary Fund to reduce poverty, privatize industries, and increase economic growth. The government has taken measures to encourage tourism in the country. Cameroon's natural resources are very well suited to agriculture and arboriculture. An estimated 70% of the population farms, and agriculture comprised an estimated 19.8% of GDP in 2009. Most agriculture is done at the subsistence scale by local farmers using simple tools. They sell their surplus produce, and some maintain separate fields for commercial use. Urban centers are particularly reliant on peasant agriculture for their foodstuffs. Soils and climate on the coast encourage extensive commercial cultivation of bananas, cocoa, oil palms, rubber, and tea. Inland on the South Cameroon Plateau, cash crops include coffee, sugar, and tobacco. Coffee is a major cash crop in the western highlands, and in the north, 
natural conditions favor crops such as cotton, ground nuts, and rice. Reliance on agricultural exports makes Cameroon vulnerable to shifts in their prices. Local Arts and Crafts Livestock are raised throughout the country. Fishing employs 5,000 people and provides over 100,000 tons of seafood each year. Bush meat, long a staple food for rural Cameroonians, is today a delicacy in the country's urban centers. The commercial bush meat trade has now surpassed deforestation as the main threat to wildlife in Cameroon. Literature Films and Literatures Sports Notes The southern rainforest has vast timber reserves, estimated to cover 37% of Cameroon's total land area. However, large areas of the forest are difficult to reach. Logging, largely handled by foreign-owned firms, provides the government 60 million US dollars a year in taxes, and laws mandate the safe and sustainable exploitation of timber. Nevertheless, in practice, the industry is one of the least regulated in Cameroon. Factory-based industry accounted for an estimated 29.7% of GDP in 2009. More than 75% of Cameroon's industrial strength is located in Douala and Bonaberry. Cameroon possesses substantial mineral resources, but these are not extensively mined. Petroleum exploitation has fallen since 1986, but this is still a substantial sector such that DIPs in prices have a strong effect on the economy. Rapids and waterfalls obstruct the southern rivers, but these sites offer opportunities for hydroelectric development and supply most of Cameroon's energy. The Sanaga River powers the largest hydroelectric station, located at Edia. The rest of Cameroon's energy comes from oil-powered thermal engines. Much of the country remains without reliable power supplies. Transport in Cameroon is often difficult. Except for the several relatively good toll roads which connect major cities roads are poorly maintained and subject to inclement weather, since only 10% of the roadways are tarred. Roadblocks often serve little other purpose than to allow police and gendarmes to collect bribes from travelers. Road banditry has long hampered transport along the eastern and western borders, and since 2005, the problem has intensified in the east as the Central African Republic has further destabilized. Intercity bus services run by multiple private companies connect all major cities. They are the most popular means of transportation followed by the rail service CamRail. Rail service runs from Kumba in the west to Balebo in the east and north to Nga Undura. International airports are located in Douala and Yaoundé, with the third under construction in Mara. Douala is the country's principal seaport. In the north, the Benau River is seasonally navigable from Gerwa across into Nigeria. Although press freedoms have improved since the first decade of the 21st century, the press is corrupt and beholden to special interests and political groups. Newspapers routinely self-censor to avoid government reprisals. The major radio and television stations are state-run and other communications, such as land-based telephones and telegraphs, are largely under government control. However, cell phone networks and internet providers have increased dramatically since the first decade of the 21st century and are largely unregulated. The Cameroon Armed Forces, as of 2015, consists of the country's army, the country's navy, includes naval infantry, the Cameroonian Air Force, firefighter corps, Rapid Intervention Brigade and the Gendarmerie. 
males and females that are 18 years of age up to 23 years of age and have graduated high school are eligible for military service. Those that do so are obliged four years of service. There is no conscription in Cameroon, but the government makes periodic calls for volunteers. The population total in Cameroon was 23,439,189 in 2016. The life expectancy is 56 years. According to the latest census, Cameroon still has slightly more women than men. Nearly 60% of the population is under age 25. People over 65 years of age account for only 3.2% of the total population. Cameroon's population is almost evenly divided between urban and rural dwellers. Population density is highest in the large urban centers, the western highlands, and the northeastern plain. Douala, Yaoundé, and Gerwa are the largest cities. In contrast, the Adamawa Plateau, southeastern Benau Depression, and most of the South Cameroon Plateau are sparsely populated. According to the World Health Organization, the fertility rate was 4.8 in 2013 with a population growth rate of 2.56%. People from the overpopulated Western Highlands and the underdeveloped North are moving to the coastal plantation zone and urban centers for employment. Smaller movements are occurring as workers seek employment in lumber mills and plantations in the South and East. Although the national sex ratio is relatively even, these outmigrants are primarily males, which leads to unbalanced ratios in some regions. Both monogamous and polygamous marriage are practiced, and the average Cameroonian family is large and extended. In the north, women tend to the home, and men herd cattle or work as farmers. In the south, women grow the family's food, and men provide meat and grow cash crops. Like most societies, Cameroonian society is male-dominated and violence and discrimination against women is common. Estimates identify anywhere from 230 to 282 different folks and linguistic groups in Cameroon. The Adamawa Plateau broadly bisects these into northern and southern divisions. The northern peoples are Sudanese groups, who live in the central highlands and the northern lowlands, and the Fulani who are spread throughout northern Cameroon. A small number of Shuwa Arabs live near Lake Chad. Southern Cameroon is inhabited by speakers of Bantu and semi-Bantu languages. Bantu-speaking groups inhabit the coastal and equatorial zones, while speakers of semi-Bantu languages live in the western grassfields. Some 5,000 Jail and Baka Pygmy peoples roam the southeastern and coastal Rhine forests or live in small, roadside settlements. Nigerians make up the largest group of foreign nationals. In 2007, Cameroon hosted a total population of refugees and asylum seekers of approximately 97,400. Of these, 49,300 were from the Central African Republic, 41,600 from Chad, and 2,900 from Nigeria. Kidnappings of Cameroonian citizens by Central African bandits have increased since 2005. In the first months of 2014, Thousands of refugees fleeing the violence in the Central African Republic arrived in Cameroon. On June 4, 2014, AlertNet reported. Almost 90,000 people have fled to neighboring Cameroon since December and up to 2,000 a week, mostly women and children, are still crossing the border, the United Nations said. Women and children are arriving in Cameroon in a shocking state, 
after weeks, sometimes months, on the road, foraging for food, said Ertharen Cousin, executive director of the World Food Programme. Both English and French are official languages, although French is by far the most understood language. German, the language of the original colonizers, has long since been displaced by French and English. Cameroonian Pidgin English is the lingua franca in the formerly British-administered territories. A mixture of English, French, and Pidgin called Franc Anglais has been gaining popularity in urban centres since the mid-1970s. The government encourages bilingualism in English and French, and as such, official government documents, new legislation, ballots, among others, are written and provided in both languages. As part of the initiative to encourage bilingualism in Cameroon, six of the eight universities in the country are entirely bilingual. In addition to the colonial languages, there are approximately 250 other languages spoken by nearly 20 million Cameroonians. It is because of this that Cameroon is considered one of the most linguistically diverse countries in the world. In 2017 there were language protests by the Anglophone population against perceived oppression by the Francophone. The military was deployed against the protesters and people have been killed, hundreds imprisoned, and thousands fled the country. Cameroon has a high level of religious freedom and diversity. The predominant faith is Christianity, practiced by about two-thirds of the population, while Islam is a significant minority faith, adhered to by about one-fifth. In addition, traditional faiths are practiced by many. Muslims are most concentrated in the north, while Christians are concentrated primarily in the southern and western regions, but practitioners of both faiths can be found throughout the country. Large cities have significant populations of both groups. Muslims in Cameroon are divided into Sufis, Shias, and non-denominational Muslims. People from the northwest and southwest provinces, which used to be a part of British Cameroons, are largely Protestant. The French-speaking regions of the southern and western regions are largely Catholic. Southern ethnic groups predominantly follow Christian or traditional African animist beliefs, or a syncretic combination of the two. People widely believe in witchcraft and the government outlaws such practices. Suspected witches are often subject to mob violence. The Islamist jihadist group Ansar al-Islam has been reported as operating in North Cameroon. In the northern regions, the locally dominant Fulani ethnic group is mostly Muslim, but the overall population is fairly evenly divided among Muslims, Christians, and followers of indigenous religious beliefs by the Fulani. The Bumam ethnic group of the West region is largely Muslim. Native traditional religions are practiced in rural areas throughout the country but rarely are practiced publicly in cities, in part because many indigenous religious groups are intrinsically local in character. Music and dance are an integral part of Cameroonian ceremonies, festivals, social gatherings, and storytelling. Traditional dances are highly choreographed and separate men and women or forbid participation by one sex altogether. The goals of dances range from pure entertainment to religious devotion. Traditionally, music is transmitted orally. In a typical performance, a chorus of singers echoes a soloist. Musical accompaniment may be as simple as clapping hands and stomping feet, but traditional instruments include bells worn by dancers, clappers, drums, and talking drums, flutes, horns, rattles, scrapers, stringed instruments, whistles, and xylophones, 
the exact combination varies with ethnic group and region. Some performers sing complete songs by themselves, accompanied by a harp-like instrument. Popular music styles include Ambas Bay of the Coast, Asiko of the Bassa, Mangambu of the Bangont, and Samasi of the Bami Lake. Nigerian music has influenced Anglophone Cameroonian performers, and Prince Nikom Barga's High Life hit Sweet Mother is the top selling African record in history. The two most popular styles of music are Makasa and Bikutsi. Makasa developed in Douala and mixes folk music, high life, soul, and Congo music. Performers such as Manu Dibango, Francis Bebe, Mani Bile, and Petit Pays popularized the style worldwide in the 1970s and 1980s. Bikutsi originated as war music among the Iwundo. Artists such as Anne-Marie Enzi developed it into a popular dance music beginning in the 1940s, and performers such as Mama Ahanja and Le Tets Brulis popularized it internationally during the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s. Cuisine varies by region, but a large, one-course, evening meal is common throughout the country. A typical dish is based on cocoa yams, maize, cassava, millet, plantains, potatoes, rice, or yams, often pounded into dough like fufu. This is served with a sauce, soup, or stew made from greens, ground nuts, palm oil, or other ingredients. Meat and fish are popular but expensive additions, with chicken often reserved for special occasions. Dishes are often quite hot, spiced with salt, red pepper sauce, and maggi. Cutlery is common, but food is traditionally manipulated with the right hand. Breakfast consists of leftovers of bread and fruit with coffee or tea. Generally breakfast is made from wheat flour in various different foods such as puff puff, a craw banana made from bananas and flour bean cakes and many more. Snacks are popular, especially in larger towns where they may be bought from street vendors. Water, palm wine, and millet beer are the traditional mealtime drinks, although beer, soda, and wine have gained popularity. 33 Export Beer is the official drink of the national soccer team and one of the most popular brands, joining Castel, Amstel Brewery, and Guinness. Traditional arts and crafts are practiced throughout the country for commercial, decorative, and religious purposes. Wood carvings and sculptures are especially common. The high-quality clay of the Western Highlands is suitable for pottery and ceramics. Other crafts include basket weaving, beadworking, brass and bronze working, calabash carving and painting, embroidery, and leather working. Traditional housing styles make use of locally available materials and vary from temporary wood and leaf shelters of nomadic Mburoa to the rectangular mud and thatch homes of southern peoples. Dwellings made from materials such as cement and tin are increasingly common. Contemporary art is mainly promoted by independent cultural organizations and artist-run initiatives. Cameroonian literature has concentrated on both European and African themes. Colonial-era writers such as Louis Marie Poca and Sankey Maimo were educated by European missionary societies and advocated assimilation into European culture as the means to bring Cameroon into the modern world. After World War II, writers such as Mongobidi and Ferdinand Oyano analyzed and criticized colonialism and rejected assimilation. Shortly after independence, Filmmakers such as Jean Paul Angassa and Therese Sidabella explored similar themes. In the 1960s, Mongobidi, Ferdinand Leopold Oyano and other writers explored post-colonialism, problems of African development, 
and the recovery of African identity. Meanwhile, in the mid-1970s, filmmakers such as Jean-Pierre Dikungui Pipa and Daniel Kamway dealt with the conflicts between traditional and post-colonial society. Literature and films during the next two decades concentrated more on holy Cameroonian themes. National policy strongly advocates sport in all forms. Traditional sports include canoe racing and wrestling, and several hundred runners participate in the 40 km Mount Cameroon race of hope each year. Cameroon is one of the few tropical countries to have competed in the Winter Olympics. Sport in Cameroon is dominated by football. Amateur football clubs abound, organized along ethnic lines or under corporate sponsors. The national team has been one of the most successful in Africa since its strong showing in the 1982 and 1990 FIFA World Cups. Cameroon has won five African Cup of Nations titles and the gold medal at the 2000 Olympics. Cameroon was the host country of the Women Africa Cup of Nations in November-December 2016. The women's football team is known as the Indomitable Lionesses. Click on a colored area to see an article about English in that country or region.